remember when I was a kid, um, my parents took me to see uh, a meteor shower, and I felt like I could see forever. And that it was just one of the most amazing, awe-inspiring moments that I've ever had. I think when you're young, it's easy to see the world as this wild and wide open place and you're surrounded on all sides by mystery and uncertainty and unknowability and that is terrifying but it's also amazing. I had wanted to become a professional magician since I was a little kid. It's all I ever wanted. I've worked at it every day. I've just discovered that you can say something with a magic trick that's hard to say any other way and I wanted to figure out what that was. Can we be there? Oh. As I got older, I found that it was harder and harder to find that sense of wonder and mystery and astonishment. I wanted to figure out why that is, you know, what is that loss? What do you lose with age and, and how can you get it back? I mean, there's that Einstein quote. He said, there are only two ways to look at the world. One is as if nothing is a miracle. The other is as if everything is. And that's sort of where I fall in terms of real magic. Time and time again, you know, when I'm doing street magic, I'll walk up to someone and, and I can just see that they're against me, right? They don't want to be amazed. They don't want this experience to happen. But then the magic happens and all of that falls away. It's the experience of waking up and seeing things the way you saw them before they became ordinary. I'm looking for that experience of wonder.